So we're back today in the trailer. As you can see, we're gonna go ahead and get our foam and start foaming up those holes. Let's take a look at it. This is what we're gonna use to fill those cracks. It's, uh, it's called Great Stuff and it's their pest block version, so it'll help keep out spiders and any kind of bugs that we don't want in this trailer. Let's get it opened up. You just screw that on there like that. The key is, when you use it, you have to turn it upside down to pull the trigger. Otherwise it just shoots air out. We're gonna start with the very front up here. We'll get these two. I think I can stick some foam in that one. I don't know. It's more of a cut than a gouge, but we'll definitely start with this one. Gotta shake the can up. I guess I'll let that dry. We can always cut off the excess of what we don't use, what we don't need. This one's giant here, so. that dry and then looks like up under there and we'll have to hit it again after it dries. We'll fill this in. This is a little more difficult than I thought that it'd be. Almost forgot our, uh, it looks like a wasp heaven right there. Pro tip, after you get done with this, hold it upright and pull the trigger. And it'll spit that little chunk out and you ought to be able to use that straw one more time. So it looks like we're gonna have to wait about eight hours before that cures. And in the meantime, let's take a look at some of the other projects that we got going on and maybe see if we can do something with them. We're out here at the chicken coop now and we just put a bunch of juvenile chickens in with our adult chickens. And the problem is we needed another perch. So I went out and I grabbed this stick here. It's pretty long, it's good size. You can see they're gonna be plenty comfortable whenever they lay on it. So the plan is to get that stretched over from there to there. And then we'll put some screws in it and we'll see if they like it. What we need to do here is take this, set it right there, 
get it where we want. We'll have to make a mark so we can cut it flush with this wall. And I've already done that, so let's take it out to the garage and cut it. Let's take her out there. So as you can see here, I think the chickens like it. And one of the reasons is, if you'll see how they're kind of sitting down, they don't have to hang on quite as much if you get a stick that's big enough to support their breastbone. This way, they can actually relax for the rest of the night, and they won't have to be holding on for dear life. Well, let's go take a look at that trailer and see how it's coming along. So I think it's cured now. I've got my flush trim saw, and I'm going to cut the excess off. Now we're gonna take some of this white paint, it's just spray paint, Rust-Oleum, and we're going to try and cover that up a little bit. I'm not real happy with how it's turning out so far. This is the kind of metal paint that I've got. And it's supposed to be a silver finish. So let's talk about, about the spray foam idea. <clears throat> I'm definitely gonna have to tell my buddy that is not a great idea. Granite, it keeps the, uh, the moisture out and the bugs out, but it just, it does not look that good. Now on the bottle, it even said that you can sand it and paint over it, but there's no sand in that. It's too porous. It's like sanding on a hard sponge. And after you paint over it, I mean, it doesn't stick out like a sore thumb thumb from far away, like uh, like the gouges do. But if if you want to do it right, you need to get probably new metal around it. Otherwise, you'd have to take out all the. Uh, 
all the boards on the inside and then beat it out with a hammer and TIG weld it back together and then you can paint it over again. But I'm not gonna go through that lengthy of a process for a tool trailer. I'm just not gonna do it. So overall, I mean, it's okay if you're in a pinch, if you really don't wanna spend too much money on fixing a, a beat up trailer, that's probably the way to go. And I'm gonna leave it the way it is. I don't think I'm gonna put new metal on it. Um, the paint that I bought, it actually matches that trailer pretty good. So I might even go ahead and paint over the, uh, the logo from the company that I bought it from. Because whenever they took the decals off, obviously, that's a much wider color because it wasn't sun faded or nothing. And after that, it's, it's on to... Let's get more tools in it and get her organized. You guys have already seen the workbenches that are in there right now. I really like the way that they did those. I didn't personally do them, that construction company did. But it's very clean. It's, uh, you can still walk around in the trailer and that's one of the things that I like about it. You get some of these people on YouTube that they just fill their trailer so full that you can't walk around in it. And I'm not about that life. <laughs> no, I like, uh, I like space. And next week, what we're going to do is we're going to buy some, some steel, some angle iron, and we'll end up making that planter. I think it's, a. Uh, we're going to do it next week. So stay tuned for that. And don't forget, like, share, and subscribe. Thanks, guys. We'll see you in the next one.